Hi friends, it's Misty with 516 Design. Today I'm going to be going through an in-depth PowerPoint presentation uh, about Viridian Wood. Uh, Viridian Wood is a reclaimed and sustainable wood company. And I'm just going to go through their history and also all the products that they offer. So without further ado, let's get to it. And sorry if you hear any uh, music in the background, there is some Curious George action going on right now. So, uh, so Viridian Wood, again, as I said, it's a um, reclaimed and sustainable wood company. So why choose Viridian? They are handcrafted in the USA. They're right in Portland, Oregon. They have pretty short lead, lead times. Um, they're durable and bleach cleanable. Um, they're easy to specify and install. They're customizable if you want them to be. And also they are sustainable. They have a 40,000 square foot showroom in Portland, Oregon. So the story started in Portland and essentially the two owners in 2005 found that there was wood being wasted at the ports. Um, so they wanted to save them from going into the landfills. The ships were carrying steel commodities from um, around the world and it produced a whole lot of wood waste. As you can see in the top left, you can see all those dumpsters just from one shipment of steel. So they decided to use this as a process to upcycle that waste and turn it into beautiful wall paneling, flooring and tables. And as you can see in the top right photo, the wood wedge between the steel and that was essentially for the forklifts to get in there and to pull it out but it was exotic woods from um, Asia and nobody wanted it and they were just throwing it away so they thought what better way than to reuse it. So now we're going to get into the products and with each of the products I'll also be telling you where it was sourced from and then what the product looks like and we're going to be starting with the wall paneling. So the first one is granary plank and they're just reclaimed beams and joists from the granaries in the Pacific Northwest. Um, it's a, both a mix of the Douglas fir and ponderosa pine. They have authentic saw marks, there's nail holes, and natural patina from its previous life. So you can see all these photos of where it came from. And then this is what it looks like after being refinished. Um, so you have a few color options. You have natural bourbon and blue, and then there's also custom colors. So if you wanted to add a, a custom color to it, you are welcome to do that as well. And they all have the um, epoxy finish, so they're cleanable, and they also can be used in exterior applications. So here are just a few different installation photos so you can see how they can be used. And they also list which product and which finish is um, used in that photo as well. So here you can see the um, paint accent with it and you can specify the percentage of color that you want on there. So if you want 50% of it to be paint or if you only want 25% of it to be paint, you can specify that. So you can see there's so many applications that you can use this for. This one you can see it's definitely got less paint than some of these other ones that we've been looking at. So the next one is called Good Neighbor. As you can see, these are fence boards from the Pacific Northwest. Um, so they use redwood. And essentially, they, uh, Viridian Wood has partnered with um, a fence contractor. And when they're reinstalling fences, they tear down the old ones, obviously, and they just pile them up for Viridian to take. And so it's got a really unique look because of this weathered patina of it being outdoors. So this is what it looks like after it is um, refinished. So you can see the four different color options. There's the natural, the silver, the luscious black, and the Cape Cod white. Um, and again, this one can be used in exterior applications as well. And then here are a bunch of installation photos. And what's really great about this one, there is going to be a lot of variation. So if your customer is not looking for a whole lot of variation, I wouldn't recommend this one. But if you're looking for something with a lot of variation, this would be a great option. And then here is an exterior application.
And I just love all the different unique uses of, of applications here. And this is a custom color. So again, you're able to uh, customize it any way you want to. This next one is called Northwind. It's a 100% certified reclaimed spruce and pine mix. Um, it's a waste wood from, as I had talked about before, from the shipping crates, from the steel coming in. And then this is what it looks like afterwards. So it comes in three different colors, natural driftwood and whitewash. And again, it has the uh, cured epoxy finish. And you can see some great installations. They can also add um, uh, words to it if you would like. So this next one is white oak, and this is sustainably sourced in the USA. So it is not reclaimed wood. It's just a sustainable source. Um, it comes in both natural and vintage. So another great look um, if you're looking for something a little bit more polished looking. And then there's also a wide plank option as well. So next we're gonna talk about tables, desks, and the bases. So we had talked about granary plank already as a wall paneling option. So there is also the same source, but for the tables is called barrel house, just so that we have a, a different differentiator between the two. Um, so barrel house is the tables. And again, it comes from the Pacific Northwest from the um, beams and joists from granaries. And it's mostly Douglas fir and ponderosa pine, and it has authentic saw marks, nail holes, and it's original patina. So here is the barrel house after it's been refinished. It definitely has some great texture to it, but it's still flat enough that if you put a cup on there, it's not gonna tip over. It comes in three colors, natural, ebony, and white. And then again, you can do some custom colors as well. Um, so they do have a Green Guard Gold certified uh, varnish top coat on there so that it can be cleaned with any cleaning products and also bleach cleanable. So here are some more installation photos and you can see there's definitely a bunch of different base types for any application. And you really can see the character in it, but again, rest assured that it, it's not so off that if you put a cup on there, it's gonna fall over. And then there's also a barrel house outdoor option. So if you need some outdoor table options, it's the same source, but it's designed and constructed to be able to hold up to outdoor environments. So they have a um, oil that provides a strong protection from UV and also rain and extreme temperatures. And it's um, easy to touch up. There's no special tools or skills needed. And it just comes in the natural color. And you can see some great installation photos as well. So the next one is Old Growth Douglas Fir. It's um, reclaimed from um, warehouse and building deconstruction in the Pacific Northwest. And then here it is afterwards, after it's been refinished. Um, so it definitely has a rustic character with knots and nail holes, but as you can see, it is super smooth. And then here are some installations. You can also do conference room tables. You can add data and power to it if you would like. And it also can be used for um, bar um, countertops as well. So this next one is old school gym bleacher. I think it's probably one of my favorite ones. Um, it is, as it's the name is, it's old gym bleachers from schools. And um, what's really great about it is that you're gonna see everything like the bolt holes, the seat numbers could be on there. You might even see, um, you know, writing from the kids if they wrote, you know, stuff on graffiti on them. 
So with these, it really just varies on what stock is available. So the colors might vary between of what was in stock and available. And if they didn't come with seat numbers on there, they are happy to add them for you if you really want that character on there. So this next one is um, a sustainably sourced option. It's not reclaimed, it's walnut. And now you can see all the different options, or sorry, all the different installations. It's a very beautiful, um, really smooth looking, very clean. Then they also have a live edge walnut option. So if you want sort of that live edge look, um, it, it's actually man-made, so it's not a natural, an actual natural live edge, but it definitely um, saves you some money without having to, to actually have a live edge piece. And here you can see a lot of the installations. It's a pretty subtle live edge. It's not um, you know, as crazy as you may have seen them, but it really gives it that cool look. So the next one, again, is sustainably sourced. It's white oak. It comes in natural, vintage, and ebony. Um, and again, it has the, the top coat on there so that it can be cleanable. And then here are some more installations. So this next one is definitely a budget friendly option. It's called design ply. Um, so it comes in either a wood veneer or a laminate and there's no edge banding on it because it's showing the beauty of the lamination of the birch ply. So it has a really um, strong linear look to it, um, but it really creates a really unique look. So as I said, you can do different um, veneers on there. You can see there's different oaks, birch, walnut, um, or you can just pick a Wilson Art laminate or any other manufacturer. And then we also have a bunch of bases, um, both for restaurant and cafe. You can see some of the options here. They also have bases for desks, uh, conference and community tables. And some more here as well. And then, as I mentioned before, you can add technology to the tables. So if you want a charging port or if you need some power USB, you can do that as well. So our next section is flooring. The first one is an antique barn wood. It's reclaimed from barns in the southeastern US. And now you can see the after. There is a natural and a herringbone pattern. Um, so it is milled tongue and groove, and you can do the herringbone or chevron pattern as well. Um, it's unfinished flooring, so it does need to be finished in the place that it's installed um, and go over a wood subfloor. It cannot go over concrete. And then here are some installation photos. Here is the herringbone and some more herringbone. Again, there's a lot of variation in this, so please be weary when you're showing your customer that even though you have one little sample, it's going to have lots of variation in it. So we had already touched upon old growth Douglas fir for tables, but they also have this for flooring as well. And again, you can see the, the knots in it, um, but a really smooth finish on there. It is unfinished flooring, so it needs to be finished in place and again, go over a wood subfloor. And it's also available as stair treads, paneling, and as I mentioned before, the tables. So now we're on some sustainable engineered flooring. So if you need something for a higher traffic area, we do have sustainable sources are not reclaimed, but sustainable. Um, so this is a wide plank white oak and it comes in natural light wash or gray wash. And there is a UV cured polyurethane finish already on there. And we had already touched upon the tables um, in the previous slides of the wide plank white oak. 
There's also a wide plank walnut, again, sustainably sourced. It's an engineered uh, hardwood. It just comes in this natural color. So all of uh, the tables and the paneling come with a finish, so it's cleanable. Um, as you can see, the table finish is Green Guard Gold, and it can be, it's been tested to be compatible with a lot of cleaning products, and it meets the standard for bleach, uh, wine, citrus, and abrasion resistance. And then the paneling, it just has a UV cured epoxy finish that's easy to clean and is able to be cleaned by most disinfectants to, for use even against COVID-19. So obviously Viridian wood, as you can see, uses both reclaimed and sustainably sourced wood. So sustainability is definitely a top of their mind and um, they're reclaimed and precision milled in Portland, Oregon. Um, so a majority of their products are 100% recycled. And for every order, they plant a new tree because they want to make sure that as much as they're taking out, they want to make sure they're regrowing um, trees. Um, all the finishes are green gold certified, which is really great. And they also meet the Rainforest Alliance standard for social, environmental, and economic sustainability. So uh, they also offer different sample box options. They have, um, if you want their full library, it's two of those larger boxes. If you just want something to kind of just keep things in mind, they have that small six by six box and it just has a couple of their most popular ones or if there are specific ones that you think you'll use a lot, we can just stick those ones in there. So if you don't have a lot of library space, that's a great option to at least just have a few of your favorite ones on hand. Um, so we can customize it to any way that works for your library. So that is it. I hope I didn't bore you to tears. Um, but I love this company. I think it's really great to have a source that is reclaimed. And please don't hesitate to reach out if you need samples or more information. Have a wonderful day, guys.